Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for being here. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. I mean, I stuck Elmo for goodness sake. Elmo will be getting it again. Uh, so you wanna be around for that. And yeah, just stick around for the fun. <laughs> your notification bell on so that you don't miss any of our uploads. So the evacuated system, this, you guys do know that this is a system. This is evac, this right here, these three supplies, these three thingies, this is called an evacuated blood collection system. It's a system because the three of them work together, yes. And the reason I'm going over this is because you guys need to know and understand that these tubes, first of all, they're two big manufacturers. And you guys know I like to talk about the manufacturers because you guys will see, I'll show these two tubes because they differ. You will see tubes like this. And I went over these two tubes the other day and I couldn't call the name of the manufacturer that makes their tubes look like this with that type of cap. Um, but this particular manufacturer is called Griner Bio One. And their name, everybody's name, of course, is on the label. The manufacturer's name is on the label. And this one's name is right here Griner Bio One. So that's the manufacturer for this type of. of uh, cap i'm going to say cap right now but i'm going to give you the, the the name or the term that's that you're supposed to use and then this is bd this is the brand that i've used forever during my time in phlebotomy bd is becton and dickinson so i don't know which one you'll see the most it really doesn't matter but in this instance where the caps have a distinct difference in the color where i was saying that be careful because this could be you know miss you could interpret this tube for a dark green top tube, but it's a lavender, it's a light green top tube, I'm sorry, um, just like this one. And in order to not make that make the mistake, is always look at your label and see the additive. This is the lithium heparin tube, and so is this one. But that color could for sure throw you off if you're not careful. So we have Griner Bio, Griner Bio One, and then we have BD, Becton and Dickinson. So BD, Becton and Dickinson, the caps, because they look different, they have different names. So you know, if you start a business, you have to trademark and register, you know, whatever it is that you do. Well, these two companies had to do the same thing. Yes, it is raining and storming here. BD calls their cap a Hemagard. So you may see Hemagard on your test. That is on the test, and you will see that. The other thing you might see is Vacuet. Uh, Griner Bio One calls theirs a Vacuet. Vacuet blood collection system. And BD calls theirs the eval e Evacuated um, blood collection system. But they both do the same thing. These tubes are designed to do the exact same thing, no matter the name of the actual caps. But you do have a Vacuet and you do have a Hemogard. And that's just terminology. So, But don't let that throw you. But do know that they are different manufacturers. That's why they look different. So these tubes, and the holder and the needle are used together to collect venous blood. And the reason I'm saying that also is because you are not supposed to use these needles, okay, for anything other than sticking a vein and collecting blood. They're not supposed to go into grafts and fistulas, and they are not designed for arteries. So that's why they are what they are. It's a tube for venous blood. These tubes have a predetermined vacuum in them so that they give the exact amount of blood, the, the volume of blood for testing, you know, for analysis. That's why it's important to let the tubes fill on their own. And if you guys want a stick, yes, I will do a stick, but please thumbs up, share, like, comment, all that good stuff. 
thumbs up and I'll do a stick. We'll do a stick if the likes make sense. So I think I owe you guys one anyway because you guys did like me sticking elbow. But it's very important once you stick the vein to make sure that you allow the tubes to fill up and stop on their own. That's why it's an evacuated system. When it stops, it's good. You don't remove these tubes from the holder because you think it looks like it's enough. No, you let them flow and stop on their own. The other thing I wanna show you all, this is a little hack, and I wanna make sure that you guys are not puncturing your tubes before you get the needle in the vein. Now that's another way to blow a vein. That's another way, well, a way to blow a vein, and that is a way to, you know, waste a tube. If you put this in here and you puncture it, just the slightest punch, puncture before you insert the needle into the vein, that tube is no good because you have let air get into it. So you have to be really careful. And you guys know that I, I do this, okay? But there's no puncturing there. There's no pressure, there's nothing. I'm using the feet, I'm using the holder until I'm ready to apply that pressure, whether it's this way or that way. And I showed you guys that in the previous video, we talked about that. So just make sure that you're not puncturing your tubes before you stick the vein, because that's a wasted tube. That means that tube has already been used. Once air is has come from this system, it's no good. So please be careful with that. And if you do, of course, you know not to continue to try to move the needle around and try to get blood in it. No, it's no good. So you have to trash that tube and get another tube. You have to start over. If your if your needle is in the vein, you don't have to come out of the vein. You just need a different, you just need a new tube. So trash that tube, let's get another tube, puncture it while you're still in the vein and your blood should, should flow. And I will definitely show you guys that. But I wanted to go over that because I had gotten a few questions about the, the system and someone asked about these two tubes again. And I knew it was probably gonna confuse someone or a couple people, that's why I wanted to go back over it. It's different manufacturers. So when you see this, that's, that's the only thing. These tubes, lithium heparin inside of them, read your labels and no problems. So yes, that's what the system is about. I don't want you guys puncturing your tubes and thinking that you you know, are not in the vein, something's wrong, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, just know that if the tube has been punctured, you have to get a new one. Also, be careful with your rubber top tubes. These tubes, for real, can blow a vein. If you're dealing with a very difficult stick, I have some hacks for you when it comes to your rubber tops. Now, this is a rubber top. See the difference? You got your hemoguard, your vacuette, and then you have a rubber top. But it's the same system, these are just rubber. And we can go over that as well. I don't think that's on the test or any anything about the rubber tops on the test, but you will see the term hemoguard or vacuette and just know that that's the same, you know, it's the same thing. But these, yes, your rubber top tubes can be a bit tricky and there are hacks and things that you can do to make these flow nicely and not blow your vein. And I can show you that and or tell you that, but only you all if you thumbs up the video because that lets me know that you want me to. That way I'm not, you know, talking about something you guys don't want to hear. So yeah, that's it for me. Thumbs up, share, like. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.